All right, y'all. So we're going to be talking about something pretty big and something pretty interesting because I've been getting a lot of comments from you all and so many different questions about so many big things. Like, I'm just going to be diving into it, sharing my opinion, sharing some of my thoughts. Keep in mind, I'm not a financial advisor. I'm just going to give you all the game from my perspective. This is how I'm looking at things. You can take it and do with it as you will. But yeah, let, let's just let's just get straight into it, y'all. So one of the biggest things that I've been getting asked questions about is selling the OMI token. How do you even sell this shit coin at this point in time? Now, I'm not sure. You you could probably do it through Coinbase Wallet. Um, that's how I bought them. So I'd assume that I could send them back there and try to sell. Maybe and the the fees probably going to be crazy though. But um, I don't know. I wouldn't. I I personally wouldn't be selling right now. I haven't sold any Omi. Not since what years ago when I sold to start my business and all that I did years ago. I I, I have not sold any Omi since then. I've only bought and um and stored it away. So. Yeah, I, I couldn't tell you how to um, sell Omi. I haven't attempted to try, um, not recently anyways. But I will say this. I know it's a lot of people who are losing faith in the project and who's losing faith um, basically in, in this, uh, this thing's ability to go anywhere at all. I, I will say this, however. I think that let's look at it from the worst case scenario, right? So let's say that we're not relying on utility from vv or relying on them being competent them securing deals which i will say this vv is excellent at securing deals when it comes down to the omi token i think that they would be good at securing deals for the omi token i just and this is what leads me to believe that there's just not putting much effort behind the omi token now i think that it's, it's heavily focused on regulations they don't want to get that wrong yet they're screwing up so many other things yet somehow they don't want to get the 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 token wrong which is leading to a lot of wrong things with the token. But this is my perspective. I think that you have a lot of investors in this community, like Dr. Profit, like Randy, you know, well, mainly Dr. Profit and, and bigger whales, because Randy, he's a big, he's a bigger whale in the in, in the um comparison to the a lot of people in the community, but it's it's a whale's a lot bigger than him in here holding the token. I think that a lot of people have money in this project. And they're going to want to get their money out at some point in time. They're going to want that money. They're going to want to. So so basically, at the point where people have invested a certain amount of money, do you believe that it would be worth it to them? Like, do you believe that they would throw like 20K at somebody to heavily promote the OMI token? And that's the thing. Like, if you tell somebody to promote the OMI token right now, what good would it actually do? Like, I, and, and I'm not saying that any well in this community would ma manipulate things because I don't know. I don't know anyone's character in this community, but there's a lot of manipulation in this space. And I think when a lot of money is on the line, somebody spending 20K so their million dollar investment doesn't go down. I don't think that they would, you know, they, they would think twice to do that. But me personally, I don't, I feel that not a lot of people in this in, in crypto have integrity. So you never know. Like, I, from my experience, I haven't met a lot of people <laughs> I have like I've I've met a certain type of people who will switch like that, flip like that. It's like I don't think very highly of the character of a lot of crypto people. So I think that people are gonna try to get their returns by any means necessary. And that being said, it doesn't really take much to move the price of Omi. And we're these whales, let's let, let me put it this way. If these whales can't even sell their tokens to attempt to dump on people. They're going to go at Vivi. Like, you got whales invested in this project. A, a lot of money. It's a lot of money invested in this project. So, that means at least Vivi has to get us on some exchanges. Ecomi has to put us on some exchanges. Now, hopefully, there are going to be some good exchanges. There are going to be some top-tier exchanges. But once we get put on those exchanges, we can expect some type of decent returns, I I'd say. I think that it'll be hype. I think that with the buzz of the metaverse and Web3 and things like that, metaverse tokens i think that's that's type of stuff is going to pop off at some point so try trying to sell or wanting to sell right now when things are at as low as we don't even know how to sell because there's not many exchanges i think that this is a horrible strategy i feel like I, I i would rather my 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 assets go to zero what i have invested in vv go to zero than to risk selling for such an insignificant amount right now especially like <laughs> Like after all this time we've spent waiting, I feel like it's 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 
I don't feel like it's worth it to go through all this with this project and then try to cash out at this point in time. Um, especially when you're more than likely going to be cashing out at a pretty significant loss because of how far the tokens dropped. It's d depending on when you got in. So, yeah. But if, if you're like kind of neutral right now uh, or kind of, yeah, I mean, maybe. I mean, maybe it's okay if you're like, if you're just, if you got in recently and then you've just decided and all this project is shit, that, that's, that's fair. <laughs> but... Even still, I feel like there is some room for this project to go up. Now, I'm like I said, I'm not a financial advisor. This is just what I believe. I don't believe it goes anywhere near. I thought it would go years ago. I don't think it gets anywhere near that. But then again, maybe, maybe it does that too. But I have not seen any signs of competence from the team thus far. I have not seen anything big that makes me think that, well, there's not been anything concrete and confirmed that's big that makes me believe that they're going to deliver some massive results. I just have not seen that from the team. So I have to I have to be on the side of caution more so. And um, one, another thing that I'm noticing is a lot of judgment. Like, you do get a lot of judgment and people judging people for holding certain things. Like, I didn't know that XRP was such a look down upon um, investment. Personally, I, I really don't care what people think about my investments and stuff. Like I'm not investing for some other person. I'm investing for me. If, if what I'm holding goes to zero, that's on me. And I'm, I'm the only one that it impacts. So I don't care if I'm not in a cool club because I hold some, a certain thing. I invest in what I believe in. If I find reasons to believe in something, I'm going to hold it. I don't care what anyone else thinks about it. That's just what I do. Like I can take an I can take a loss if I'm the reason for my loss. This is why I don't follow other people. I don't follow other other I don't, I don't follow because the second that you start following, you didn't take that loss for you. You you weren't the reason you took that loss. So you're going to feel like that person is the reason that you took that loss. And to be fair, you listening to that information is the reason that you took that loss. But you are the one in control of what you do. So when you hear some information, if you choose to follow it, that was your choice. So yeah, you may have been inspired by that information, but it had nothing to do with that person. You chose to make a choice based on being excited and hyped off of a little bit of information. So that's what I had to realize when it comes down to me. Well, I've always really been that way. I've never actually listened to, to people's opinion on what I'm holding and stuff like that. It's like, no one's going to tell me, oh, XRP is shit. I, I know why I believe in, I know why I believe in XRP. I know why I'm holding it. And I know why I think that it can do certain things. Um, you may look at people like, I know Ben Armstrong has given people a bad taste when it comes to certain things like XRP. I know certain people that people dislike are associated with it. So they start to dislike it. But I'm not, I'm not sitting here watching any of these guys making a decision. I don't care who's not popular in the communities. I don't care who people hate in the community. Like you can have people looking at Randy and how bullish he is and thinking bad about the Omi token. I could care less about those people. Um, you could look at somebody like me and see that I'm not super bullish on the Omi token anymore. And you could judge it off of that. It's like, it's always going to be some bullshit going on to judge something negatively. This is why as an investor, it's up to you to do your own research and due diligence. That way you can come to your own educated conclusion based off of your research. And then you can have conviction in the things that you've studied and learned about the project because you actually put in that work. If you're putting your money places without putting in the work to actually understand where your money's at, you might as well just give it to me. Like, I mean, listen, I accept donations, man. Like, if you're just going to throw money away, just throw it into my pocket, bro. Like, you taking risk like that, that means you got it to risk. Me, personally, I'm not trying to risk a dollar. Like, I can make, uh, I can sit here and do, anal I can analyze. It's different between throwing my money away. Like, I don't gamble, but I will invest. Because I've done research, I've put in the effort into trying to understand what I'm invested in, and I'm like, okay, that's a good fit right there. I believe in this. Because what I'm doing is I'm either gonna make profits from this or I'm gonna I'm gonna learn a lesson from it. I'm gonna learn what I did wrong. I'm gonna learn how I looked at things, how I got caught into this situation. So I'm either paying, I'm either paying tuition or I'm getting paid. That's a win-win. It's a win. Now, if you just listen to somebody up, oh, that sound dope. Let me throw some money behind it. You learn nothing. You potentially lose something. And if you gain something, you got lucky. It's like, <laughs> that's not a good approach to things because you don't grow as a person taking that type of approach towards investing. The only way to be a, a strong investor is if you actually are making your decisions 
And if things go wrong, you can learn from what you did that led you into that situation. If what you did was just listen to someone, yeah, you're going to learn. You probably shouldn't listen to someone, but what else do you actually learn from that? It's like you you, you can't learn anything. You it, it wasn't your evidence and your conviction that got you to the, to the point where you had to purchase something. So, yeah, at this point, I'm just really... I'm just really reiterating the same thing, but the fact of the matter is this, bro. When it comes down to investing in the things that you hold, everyone's going to have an opinion. And when it comes down to life, everyone is going to have an opinion. People are going to have an opinion if you're doing good. People are going to have a different opinion if you're doing bad. People will always have an opinion. So why put so much stress and effort into what people think when you could just really work your hardest, grow every single day, do your best? Try every single day to one-up yourself. Once you start to push the external bullshit away and start to really live a life focused on daily improvement of self and daily growth, and, 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 and that's in every way, health, mental, like financial, everything. Like once you start to put that effort into yourself and growing, like you'll slowly start to see growth. It's not a it's not a quick journey, but it's not supposed to be. But it should be an enjoyable journey because every single day you get to see what you're made of. And every single day you get to see that you're made of more than you thought you were made of just yesterday. At least that's how I like to live my life. I could, listen, I could just, I, I could be wrong. Like who y'all, everybody can live their life how they want to live their life. I choose to live my life in a way that motivates me, inspires me, and keeps me driven to want to accomplish big things. Um, but that's my decision. You can live a life of complacency, um, contentment, and I mean, that's that's perfectly fine. That's your decision. But I feel like you live a more fulfilling life and you you it's, it's a lot less risky when it comes to certain things like investing. At the point where you make a lot of bad decisions, but you understand why you found yourself in that position anyway, you learn a lot to the point where it's, it's going to be hard for you to fail in the future because you, you, you've messed up so many times prior. So now you've learned all the lessons that there are to learn. So you do it the right way, simply off experience. But if you're just listening to people following copy and you're never going to gain that experience, you're going to just go from listening to one person, listening to another person. It's like it's gambling because you're going to listen to one person. You're going to get lucky and it was a good call. You're going to think that, oh, this person is who I'm going to follow. Then maybe that those calls don't go as well in the future. So now you're back looking for somebody to follow. The only person dependable to you in your life is you. You're the only one worth following in your life. That That's it. You're the only one you can trust to have your best interest in mind. Like at the end of the day, if the things that I do and the things that I talk about works out for other people, that's amazing. But the things that I do is for me. I want to grow. I want to be better. I want to be the best version of myself. I want to invest in these things and make money. Like this is for me. If other people can be inspired and can can grow and, and boost themselves off of some of the decisions that I'm making and the things that I'm doing, if they do the research and feel conviction towards that as well, great. But I'm not setting out, starting my day off, waking up, studying, doing all this research to for you. <laughs> it's not it's not for you. You're the only one who's going to look out for you. And. That's why you have to do a good job of, of practicing best practices and, and, and learning what best practices are and really, like I said, really elevating and 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 experience a lot, experiencing a lot of self-growth. But yeah, that's pretty much it, y'all. I just wanted to go on a little rant here for a little bit, address some of the things that I was seeing as far as selling the OMI token and as far as the, the mindset behind investing in certain things and how people will um, not agree and they'll judge you and... Like, bro, this is not high school. You know, I don't care about being at somebody's cool kid's table. I'm going to be at my table, and I guarantee you my table will become fat as hell one day. So that, that's all that matters to me. It's going to be a lot of cash spread out on my table, a lot of cash, vacations, fam, family's bills paid off, family's homes. It's going to be a lot of that shit to go around my table eventually. So, yeah, I don't really care what anyone else feels about that. You know, I'm just working every day to make sure that shit happens. I don't care about all the people who believe that it won't or who doubt me or any of that. Like, all that shit is just noise. You keep that out of your head, out of your mind, and just focus on being better than you was yesterday. Because a lot of yesterdays are going to pass, and you're going to look up one day and be like, damn, I'm completely, I'm a completely different person than I was. Listen, you got to start somewhere. Why not start today? Why not start here? Why not start now? 
Um, that's pretty much it, y'all. Be sure to drop that thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on notifications. And I'll catch y'all on the next one. Peace out, y'all.